How y'all doing? This is LJ, and this is a Bible study review. Um, tonight was awesome. Another great word of God, and very entertaining. Not entertaining, but, you know, revelational, uh, and learning, and educational, because I learned a lot tonight, and it was a great word, one accord with everything that's going on with my spiritual walk with Jesus, and I declare and decree that, you know, prosperity of the word of God over every man, woman, and child, I, I just thank God for it, it's an awesome time in the Lord, I thank you, uh, I just thank the Father for being a part of, you know, an awesome time, an awesome time, an awesome time, I'm telling you guys, it's Going to the house of God and studying Jesus and understanding the Holy Ghost is, is very, very, very educational. But I'm just going to get right into the Bible review. Um, the word was awesome. The word was uh, based out of Isaiah 54, verse 1 through 3. And I'm going to read those scriptures. I'm drinking orange juice right now, if you don't mind. Let me, let me, let me, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's good stuff. And I'm going to read the same thing we read tonight. And it's going to be for you long. But that's why it's called Bible Study Review. And we're going to review what we taught tonight. And just go over the things that, that it was great stuff to hear, great stuff to see, great stuff to understand and comprehend how the man of God put it in perspective, how we should, you know, observe ourselves and overcome some things through deliverance by just understanding is praising God in the good times and the bad times in the good times praise him the same in, as well in the bad times and I just thank God for ears to hear and the way to articulate him better better when you study and when you really have a, a thirst and hunger after the word of God so let's read Isaiah 54 1 through 3 and I'm just going to read it briefly and I wear glasses so I'm going to take my time, take my time, but at the same time, I hope you're hearing and studying and listening to the words, you know, I hope you grab your Bible as well as I read it, but let's get started. Now, verse 1 says, Sing, O uh, barren, thou that didst not bear, break forth unto singing, and cry out loud, thou that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Verse 2 says, Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. Verse 3 says, For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left. And thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inherited. And that was Isaiah 54, 1 through 3. And uh, let's go over some points we got tonight. You know, some of the points as we went over tonight, it says how to believe according to the word of God. And, you know, all power have been given. All power has been given to the body of Christ. These are my notes I'm reading, by the way. And it says, set thy expectations according to the word. And that's awesome stuff. And also says, if I know this word, if I know his word, I know his will. So the will of God is the word of God. Satan plays games with believers' life as, you know, the deception, the illusion of the world. He always wants to play games, always to keep us bounded in um, blind and ignorant to his devices, knowing that the word of God is powerful than anything that he, he can't even touch what God can do. God, he gets permission from God to even mess with us in the first place. So I thank God for that. And also, in my notes that I'm reading right now, it says that the word is greater than your situation. Amen. You got to be word based, spirit filled, and spirit led. Get your soul under control. That's good stuff. Get your soul under control. God wants us to manage our emotions by the Holy Ghost. See, Romans 8, verse 14 says, Many are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. So if the Holy Spirit is leading us, if we're including Him in things in our life, in our everyday choices, everyday 
thought life, everything we think about, everything we see, and we including God in it. See, he lead us to greater things. And that's why I thank God for, you know, the type of teaching that we get at this ministry. That the Apostle of Grace, uh, Apostle G.L. Grace, he, he always has great revelation that the Lord gives him in his prayer closet. And he shared with the congregation that we learn the same things he learned that we can articulate and go back and stay in our own devotion time and go back and study some good stuff and you know it, when we get the revelation and, and how he explains and break it down how the Holy Ghost uses him um, with the rhema and then we go back and study with the locust which is the written word and the rhema is the revelation where the word has come from heaven you know it's good stuff and you know it, it's just how it's just like like a train on a on railroad track you know just straight line then it goes where it needs to go then it gets its destination because it's delivering where the cargo and we got the cargo tonight I'm telling you that so to further it the notes it says that uh get your soul under control God wants us to manage our emotions by the Holy Ghost it say get away from logic and reasoning uh, Proverbs 3 talking about the pride talking about the fall talking about trusting him in all thy heart and lean not to our own understanding and uh, strategy of the enemy is to distract he, he's called the Lord of the flies so he's whole purpose of Satan is to distract us from focus to keep us inconsistent with the things of God try to get us uh, uh, barren and burning down with the cares of the world so that's why his strategy is to of the enemy is to distract us from what God is releasing to us so we got to understand what God is trying to get to us through us that's why we're co-laborers amen so it says make the Holy Ghost work in you make the Holy make the Holy Ghost work in you what God desires to do in us and through us is to work the supernatural and that and that's awesome to work the supernatural you have to believe that God is in us because he, he's in us and he would not deny himself so I just thank God for the opportunity you know to just even say it like that because we got to understand that many of us don't mind God doing stuff for us as long as we are in control and we can't do that we got to break that that air that spirit of air right there because God is in control there's no other greater spirit than God so that's why we got to keep moving and they said God wants to birth in us supernatural works he said greater works than he do than us than these and greater works he do in us in the earth anyway so so we should be doing greater things the generation before us should be prepared to do greater things the generation before them so God makes he said God sh make sure you are fully delivered from a previous experience so that it doesn't affect the anointing in you that's good stuff and then back to Isaiah 54 and 1 and you know basically what it breaks down Isaiah 54 1 it says that you know celebrate without anything happening just celebrate God for who he is let's praise God for who he is God is the God King of Kings Lord of Glory just celebrate God just let God be God let him be who he is in you in the good times and the bad times just worship the King if you say you're a believer you say it's all about Jesus give him his glory let God get his glory through what you're going through your trials and situations it's for your for God's glory for it, if it pleases him that his son got bruised what much more think that which you're going through pleases him more because he's getting his glory because he's stretching us he's stretching the anointing he's birthing us to new levels to new heights so by God be the glory I thank God for this you know celebrate because I love God I, I love the Father I love Jesus I love my Father I love him you know I, I pray with him I, I, I spend time in it and I thank God for him and you know just the love of Jesus how much he loves me you know show me how much love I have for my daughter show me the same type of love I have for my wife and my family and you know my sisters and brothers and my, my in-laws Lord it, it, it's, it's, it, he's a non-respected person and the love you know I I, I I celebrate. I just celebrate his him who he is, cause I am, cause who, cause he is the great I am, and I am, cause who I am, cause of him. That makes sense. <laughs> so let's keep going. Then it says, whenever you run from a hard word, your discipline takes a de in decline. So whenever you run from a hard word, whenever a word comes to cut you or uh, prune you or sharpen you, and you back, you run and rejects it. You know, you know your discipline, your standards start to incline, decline, because you start, you got offended. But the point is, is when you're not, you know, it says get rid of fear, because what fear causes to decline on the things of God. So it says prepare to stretch, prepare to be stretched, to develop faith, 
Hold up. Uh oh. To develop faith. Oh, here we go. Here we go. To develop faith, you have to get rid of fear. Okay, and it says, don't fear pain or being hurt. Have to renew the mind. The mind is not renewed if there is no revival in the soul. That's good stuff. The difference between willpower and Holy Ghost power. Willpower when it, uh, when, when you don't know the true purpose of who you are, don't know the true purpose. That's the willpower when you don't know the true purpose of power. And then the Holy Ghost power is when you are led by God. You know, and then reference, uh, also reference Philippians uh, one and six. So when you reference, uh, take the Bible, go back to Philippians one and six, reference that. Not that's not what it come from, but just reference. It's, it's part of the notes. Uh, say God does not quit. Uh, God wants us to learn this when He gives us a word. He wants us to be obedient to His word. And I'm gonna read that again. It say God wants us to learn this, this principle, this point. Uh, that when He gives us a word, He wants us to be obedient to His word. And that's good stuff. It's obedience is evidence of our faith obedience is evidence of our faith so when we are obedient to what God is releasing then how we reward that is because our faith our obedience when are we obedient is, is is a measure of faith so when we are obedient is that's what it is uh, the obedience, obedience is evidence of our faith if we believe in what God is saying then we'll be faithful to what he's saying and do what he's saying just like James uh, uh, 122 we'll be here as the word and not just do us only we will be hearers the word and doers the word. So if we just be obedient to what God has given us and released us, and then our obedience is our faith level, and our faith is our obedience. So if we are obedient to His word, it's going to show. That makes sense. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, keep reading here. Everything went back down. Okay. All right. Here we go. Also, it says. We say obedience, the last thing we said was obedience is the evidence of our faith. Okay, not by our feelings that is living, not by feelings that is living less than, so we, okay, uh, I, that's how I wrote the notes, because it, it was moving fast. Uh, basically saying that we should be living by feelings and emotions. We should be living by the Spirit and the Holy Ghost and let the Holy Ghost take over our emotions. So if we're living by feelings, the five sense realm, uh, that's the natural realm, that's, what, that's the natural realm. So if we're living by the five sense rim, then you know we we should be living by feelings and emotions. The Holy Ghost should be taking control of our emotions, the soulish rim, because in the soul there's the will, the mind, and the emotions. The Holy Ghost should be Lord of all those, all three of those. So let me keep moving. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, it's as, as as a disciple, we must execute discipline. Uh, get rid of fear. Prepare to be stretched to develop. Oh, I can't read all those things. This thing keeps. It's keep my notes is on the phone. It keeps going back and forth when I scroll. Okay, where was I at? Oh, it, okay. Not living by feelings. Living by feelings is less than. It's a little, it's less of a realm than a spiritual realm. Say so God isn't. Uh, uh, God shouldn't use outside elements for you and your family to get deliverance or change. Stop living. Uh, leaving God out of the equation. You will continue, continually come up with the wrong answers. It said, discover where you very oft track your words. Uh, very, uh, very thing is trackable. Everything is trackable. Tra is trackable. Excuse me. Discover where you veered off, and track your words. Everything is trackable. Let's slow down. When we embrace a soulful spirit, you will not be accountable for anything. Uh, know the difference between want and a need. If you're constantly broke, stop spending. And that's a good point. If you're constantly broke, stop spending. Uh, if we can't handle the simple things, why do we ask God for the greater things? That's good. Amen. Um, also, it says, um, also in my notes, it says, prepare for greater, invest. The, the, the notes keep jumping back and forth. Give me one second. All right, come on, come on. This is live. Prepare for the greater. Invest. Excuse me. 
and prepare for the greater invest in your ministry that's in you that okay invest in the ministry that is in you than the ministry that you're in basically he's saying uh, invest more in your ministry not just not doing what you normally know supposed to be doing in, in the house of God but in, invest in your ministry invest where the Lord is taking you study where you're going that's where basically what he's saying with that increase your word diet increase in the word the only thing that will give you stability in the trial is the word of God amen you have to become word based that's Joshua 1 8 through 9 uh, the word is what keeps you anchored be still and know uh, keep the word of God in your mouth because the best time to use it is when all hell breaks loose. Amen. I'm a witness of that. The created power of God in the believer is in the word of God. Consistently ponder the word of God until you become it. We don't keep we don't keep the word of God long enough in our mouth. We don't chew on it. We don't saturate it enough in it. We don't let it become part of us. And I love how he wrote the word DNA, divine nature alignment. <laughs> That's good. He said key words in 2017, and this for every born that's watching it and every believer, it says that you will need what you need will need is consistency and stand focus. Uh one of Satan's greatest weapons is distractions. Beware of distractions. Uh learn how to remember the last thing that God said to you. Prayer an, uh prayer is another word for discipline. Prayer is the cornerstone of worship. That's good right there because I'm a worshiper. I'm an intercessor. I love it. it. That's true. Prayer is the cornerstone of worship. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, God can't address where he doesn't have full access. You have to invite God to every area of your life. That's what that meant. Uh, where there is no change, you have not given God total access to your life. Prayer connects heaven and earth. Uh, if your meditation don't change, your attitude won't change. And Amen, amen. There's more notes. Okay, let me keep going. That's a lot of notes. Good God. Man, it was flowing too tonight. I'm telling you, it was an awesome time. Let me let me hear it for my time expire. Uh let me see, make sure. Where I was at, Echo. Okay, if your meditation don't change, your attitude has not changed. Uh, in our willpower, we try to obey the word without. Okay, in our willpower, in our own time, and trying to do it ourselves, we try to obey the word without asking the Holy Ghost for help. That's good. Stop embracing an independent spirit. Ask for help. Don't let pride get the best of you. Many fear vulnerabilities. That's good. The Holy Ghost will make you cry like a baby. Do whatever you have to do to get delivered. And that's good stuff. Uh, keep going with the notes. Uh, get out of the soulish realm. For real wealth uh, to come, there has to be another level of breaking. He has to break you back down. To keep you more humble than you were before. Because you change new. Th um, because when you change, new, th new things have to come your way. New things have to come to you. When you change, things change in your life. Don't fear the breaking. God's real work is going to be within you. So you got to live from the inside out. God's going to do his real work in you. So make him like him. So you could do and represent him in the earth. Um, also, he says, uh, the notes written, uh, he can't release millionaire status while you still have a broke attitude. Remember that, people. He cannot release wealth, health, wealth on you if you still have a broke mindset. Uh, learn how to unpack the wealth in you. <coughs> Excuse me. It is unbelievable that the believer has all the the power of God in them, and is still, and that we are still struggling in certain things, and we have all the power in us. It is unbelievable that the believer has all the power of God in them, and when we still struggle with situations in the earth, and we should be above this situation. That's why I said, set your affections up above and other things of this earth. So that's good as well and say it doesn't matter how many times you mess up keep asking God for what you're asking for keep asking it don't matter how many times you mess up no matter how many times you fall it doesn't matter how many times that um, you error how many times you fall short of the glory of God remember you're under grace remember what God can do he's a power a God of power a God of might a God of a circle uh, a chances a God of wisdom a God of healing a God of redemption so you keep asking God 
multiple times, no matter how many times you stop, keep asking God. Keep asking until you get it. Push. Pray until you till something happens. That's that's how I took that. Uh, it says, uh, if it doesn't matter, okay, we can say it there already. There is no limit to what you're asking for. Just keep asking. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 through 8. Ask, you shall receive. Uh, uh, excuse me again. <coughs> Let me drink some more juice. That's what I'm going to do. Drink some more juice. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. Yeah, that's real good. And like I said, Matthew chapter seven, verse seven through eight. Ask you shall uh, you shall receive. Seek you shall find. Knock it shall be opened to you. And verse eight is another level because it says, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. That's another level. It says the more the devil keep fighting you, just keep asking God for what you're asking for. Learn to repent. Learn to be transparent with God. Allow the Holy Ghost to undress you. Allow him to take all over you. And said when revelation comes, Satan has to re strategize. And that's the end of my notes. But bottom line to get to the nitty gritty of the Bible study review episode two. Uh basically, you know, and as we continue to understand is Honestly, how to believe according to the word of God it's basically how to believe according to the word of God and I just want to let you know uh, guys this is, this is our year 2017 will be the best year of your life and how to believe according to the word of God how to believe the word because the word is God and the God is the word and remember that that's John chapter 1 verse 1 but at the same time Isaiah 54 1 through 3 is great because you got to sing you got to praise God regardless of what's going on in your life because you got to praise him in the good times and the bad times you know that's why you got to look at these things as Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 and 9 says you know in the good times and the good not good uh, night times the daytime and night time that, that means in the Hebrew means uh, you're going to have some good times and you're going to have some night times you're going to have some good times and some bad times so some light and some darkness and in the midst of both you should praise God the same way he is the same the Jehovah Jireh he is the same Elohim he's the same Jehovah Elohim he's the same oh, uh, uh, Nisi he's the same Shalom. He just he should be the same every day because he's unmovable, unchangeable, and things we should be the same way because he's in us and he will not deny himself. So we should be unmovable, unchangeable with him. So we should praise him regardless of anything that's coming our way. And, and that's it might be it might be too easy to just to say that and actually do it. But if you love love Jesus, if you love the Father in heaven enough, it it, it, it come naturally because you got to believe in His word. It's all about belief. Only faith pleases God. So I uh, hope this was very educational. Should I got any more orange juice? I got more orange juice. Let me drink the orange. Let me drink some more juice. Man, the orange juice is good. But like I was saying, I pray this was helpful. And um, let's continue to keep the faith, guys. Believe the word. Believe God according to His word. Believe, continue to be, believe, build your faith, continue to stay in the Bible and pray. And prayer is the cornerstone of worship. Prayer is the cornerstone of worship. When you when you when you at prayer or sacrificial prayer in the morning or your devotion time in the morning, don't spend all your time in the Bible. You already got word in you. Use what you already know and bless God with it. Pray. Pray to the king. Pray. And just, just continue to love on him. Because he's going to continue to love on you. Because when we're not faithful, he's always faithful. So I'm going to end this in prayer. And uh, then we'll call it a night. Heavenly Father, I thank you now. In the name of Yeshua, I thank you for tonight. I thank you for this day. The day is not over yet. It's still time, Lord God, in the day for you to bring a miracle, Lord God, that's coming and shifting paperwork. Every delay is in our favor. In the name of Yeshua, we thank you for breathing on the people of God tonight. And those that are watching, those that get the chance to watch this later on during the week, and those that are coming to watch, Lord God, later. 
Father, let them bless their ears and bless their eyes. Father, God, fall upon the angels. I call upon the angels upon their home, Lord, now in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of every viewer. And as we continue to have Bible view and Bible study, more content is coming, Lord, God, to bless the people. Because it's not for us. Let you be glorified before we are satisfied. I speak that but the favor of God over the people of God and over their family and loved ones. I love you, Father. I thank you for loving them. And I bless them with the prophet's reward, Father, of the 30 to 60. 100 fold I speak over their households now and their children's children the next generation after them father I give you the glory honor and praise I bless your mighty name and I thank you right now for using us and guiding us in the ways that we shall go and father let this be a nursery to a body this word for you said man should not live by bread alone but by every word that proceed of the mouth of God Luke 4 4 Mark 4 4 and father we just thank you for guidance and understanding fresh revelation knowledge we speak shalom and rest well they shall have dreams and visions Lord God apostolic dreams and prophetic dreams they shall prophesy Lord God and we shall have understanding we shall be the best live the best eat the best and drive the best and I declare the Decree that now and bless this house, bless our region. Father, we speak against any demonic attacks and assignments of the adversary. And Holy Ghost, I just thank you for rest, a rest and a peace that surpass all understanding. For your word is yea and amen. Your promises are yea and amen. And I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In the name of the Father, Son, and the blessed Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. So, y'all be blessed and continue to just continue to believe. Just have faith in God. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for you guys. Thank God. And I thank God for strengthening the people. Y'all have a blessed night. Bye-bye.